What's up? Sup? You come here often? Wow. Today we're going to be talking about, if you don't know who we are, this is M. I'm Liv. M, say hi. Beep. And we're going to be talking about our reaction as psychic medium twin flames best friends and psychic comedians about our reaction to Sam and Colby's video, Our Terrifying Night at Shadow Man Manor. It's going to be- this place have a weird name. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's, asking uh, because I want you to <laughs> butcher it. <laughs> it's Welsh. So Sam and Colby like to call it Shadow Man Manor for like some spoopy lore stuff, you know? But it's uh, in the United Kingdom. It's a Tudor style architecture building built a really long time ago. And it's near the village of Nelson, Wales of the UK. And I'm Welsh, so it makes that me sad. <laughs> that was not the name. Yeah, but... <laughs> well, I'm Welsh, so it makes me sad that I can't say this. But I mean, Welsh is a really interesting way. Also so a Welsh pony. Sorry, go on. Do I have a Welsh pony? Thought so. Is that I now have... a trooper? Is... No, he's a Shetland pony mm. from the Shetland Isles. Mm. They replaced coal it's mining cool. for slave labor for children. No, it was just children labor. Might have been some slave labor for children so too. It changed to pony labor. Yes, because yeah. the ponies could fit in the mine shafts that the children were previously, I don't know, employed to do. So they were like. So what's this place called? <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, so I wrote it down phonetically, but not like the normal phonetics. Uh, okay, so I think it's Sightkeyact Fjord mm -hmm. Manor. That does not sound the same what you were listening to earlier, but you know. That's with the American accent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's with the American <laughs> accent. Sightkeyact Fjord. That's why you'd say it in Texas. Anyways, so yeah. It doesn't look like that, but that's 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 what I wrote. Sidekick Found Manor in Wales, without an H. So yep. Wales. <laughs> Sam and Colby call it Shadow Man Manor because there are supposedly multiple shadow figures that are seen within the home. Yeah, it's a good time. So as psychic mediums, twin flames, and awesome people, we decided to play psychic chicken reaction to their youtube video as we already said our terrifying night at shadow man manor and uh see what we could see that they couldn't see and uh, one of the things was pretty fun i really liked the guy that was in the witch's attic but that's that's for the the last part of the podcast so if you guys are new we're psychic mediums and we like to pick haunted places and talk about what we see or one of us sees without knowing the uh history of the place and except then, we're not doing that today we're reaction to, reacting to ghost investigators videos yeah but i also don't know anything about the place that's gonna well, be yeah. podcast number two that's called <laughs> reaction video <laughs> so i'm excited about it it was an interesting one i thought it was gonna be much more scary than Why? it actually was isn't this the place where you saw the goat man <laughs> was it this one or was it the other one that we reacted to one. after that it was this one. Oh. Yeah, I mean, there's Who's the goat man live. I feel like he might show himself as like a goat man because a lot of people think that goats and like the devil are synonymous. Well, are they associated with all the witchcraft that was happening in the house? Because supposedly in this house there was a lot of like weird witch marks to that they use for protection. In the attic, there's also like a pentagram at the uh, I don't know the gate, like the fence on the outskirts. I forgot it. about the pentagram. I didn't write that down. Remind me. While we're talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so is that why the goat man is here? I don't know. I feel, well, they said that there was a lot of witch. I don't know the history of the place. I just remember what I said, kind of, obviously. Well, I watched the entire video after you left because oh. I was like, well, I guess we're never going to watch this again. <laughs> and uh, they didn't say anything about a goat man, so. Mm. I feel like it's whatever the dark thing is that people see. They see the dark shadow figures that are eight feet tall. That sounds like an alien, but... Or it could be like when you have the the flashlight really low and it makes your shadow bigger. You know what I'm saying? That's what they were telling me. <laughs> that's really funny. Like that that's how shadow people get so big. Ah. <laughs> but I don't think they're like people people. They're scary things. Oh, yeah, exactly. So. Same thing with the goat man. I don't know. Well, Maybe yeah. that's just what he wanted to show me. It's just interesting that he's a goat man. Because there are other videos that Sam and Colby have covered that 
supposedly there was a goat man like goat man bridge you know yeah <laughs> and it's interesting because i was like why am i seeing a goat man because we're not reacting to their goat man bridge thing because i've heard it's a precursor to do that <laughs> What do you think? If you agree, maybe you should leave us a podcast review saying so. That you want us to do the Goat Man Bridge? Yeah. I feel like it would be good to do even if we don't react to Sam and Colby's video. Just a fun thing to talk about. I'll research it and you get to talk to the Goat Man. Presumably alleged acclaimed Goat, goat Man. man. <laughs> Wonderful. People want us to react to skin, the skin Skinwalker Ranch. Yeah, and I guess we're not supposed to say that word because people skin that... Walker people that it's <laughs> that it's a part of their culture and their lore a lot of like native american people uh say that if you say it they call him yeah yeah and it like brings you bad juju or something mm -hmm. but juju also is probably not a good thing to say <laughs> my mom Scary wants to be things. called juju when she's a grandmother because she's like you don't know if you're gonna get good juju or bad juju interesting but that's just an insight into who my mother thinks she is <laughs> Well, before we actually reacted to the video, we decided that we were going to read into the house before knowing anything about it. So immediately I saw this man. Do you remember this man? I saw this older man and I don't remember much about him because we He looks the video like the guy ago. from Pinocchio. The dad from Pinocchio, right? Yeah. It was different than the what, Richard Prickins? Pr Is that his name? Prickart. Prickart? Prickard. Prick yeah. Pr Pritchard. 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 There you go. There I was like, go. that doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> They're different, right? Yeah. Then who is this man? Oh, wait. Who's different? The names that I was talking about? Or the, the Pinocchio <laughs> man. <laughs> I thought the Pinocchio man was the same as Edward Pritchard. Okay, because you told me different in the video, and I was like... Did I? I thought these were the same people. Yeah, so I just got confused. Oh, I thought <laughs> they I were was the seeing same people, too. I was confused. Got it. <laughs> no, it was weird because halfway through, like, when we first saw him, we, well, we, we'll get to that because it was in a different room. Let's start with the kitchen because the kitchen is the first thing they showed us. Well, I was getting into the stuff that we did before we started reacting to the video. Oh. I saw this man that was very, like, solemn and yeah. he had, like, a hat and, mm -hmm. like, a long beard. Because you were like, does he have a soft beard? And I was like, I don't know what that means. I don't like, would not describe a beard ever as soft. That's because if so. I was a man, I would have a soft beard. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> but you also told me about the goat man and then dogs. Like, um, oh, people hear to? dogs barking at them. Yeah. Mm hmm. Like, uh, like on the ground. What do they do? They like chase you out if you're in the wrong area. No, you were talking about that weird sport that people used to do. Where fox the dog... hunting. Yeah, fox hunting. Yeah, it sounds like hounds when they're fox hunting because all they do is bay and bark at each other. Yeah, but I was hearing the scary version of that because it wasn't on the grounds, it was in the house. That's scary. Yeah, there was like snarling and they were all black, like, you know, uh, Hell Harry hounds? Potter. Yeah. Hellhounds. That's what you were thinking of? Yeah, like three-headed dogs with red eyes that are smoky. Oh, I've never seen or heard hellhounds being three-headed, but I don't see why they couldn't be. I've heard of them as being dark dogs with red eyes that drag you to the pits of hell. I mean, they might be three-headed because they look like a cloud. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what is a hellhound? A hellhound is literally supposed to be a hound from well, hell. Is it associated to witchcraft? I don't know. The only thing I know about hellhounds is from like... <laughs> I was like, you seem to be knowledgeable about these things. <laughs> That's because I was friends with all of the nerds that oh. liked mytholo mythological mythology. mythology. Mythological. And they liked to watch... What is that show? Uh, with Sam and Dean? Dip it idea it's uh not shadow hunters it's uh ghost hunters no it's not That's ghost hunters Bacon's. no that mm, uh to <laughs> sam and who did i just colby. say no not sam and colby <laughs> i don't know gosh darn it <laughs> what is it called it's Doesn't a show matter. on the sci-fi channel and it's fictional but they do all of the the cryptids and haunted things I was not one of those friends. I'm gonna let you know. Oh, well, I know that. I know. I don't know what show you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, the people on the interwebs will be upset that I forget what it's called, and I'll pr Sam and Dean, Demon Dean and Sam, Sam and Dean. What is it called? Oh God. Anyways, there's an episode where if you sell your soul to the devil, which one is it? Nope. 
fits. That one. Oh. <laughs> if you sell it, no, because we just did soul contracts like two episodes before this one is going to come out. And yeah, people I'm going need- to sell my soul to Beazle Bub. Beazle Bub. Sorry. He's like, and we're going to play Ouija and it's going to be great. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we should do a Ouija board with Beazle Bub. I think you should suck my dick. I think it'd be really funny, don't you think? I we don't. He said, need- he's telling me that he would send something else. For sure. <laughs> That's how it like, works. It'd be really funny if I did that too. And I was like, no. you're so cool. Can you? Will you take my soul? <laughs> Anyways, Sorry. that's not how it works. Go listen to the other podcast. It's like episode 70 something. Anyways, where these people sell their souls to the devil and then like live really great lives. But then like the hellhounds come to get them after they've signed the contract mm. for the extended number of years. And people are like, but I don't want to go to hell now. And they're like, sucks to suck because you can't get rid of the hellhounds because you sold your soul to have a really good life. And now, you know, your contract's up. So you got to go to the, to the, to the downstairs place or something. I don't know. But it's just these people that are like putting themselves in like these really crappy motels and like putting salt circles around their entire house and like wearing all of these pendulums and then Sam and Dean are like trying to save them from not being taken by these hellhounds. But you just see like nothing except for here like these snarling things and these people are like i see them they're coming but like no one else can see anything and then they just like get ripped to shreds and like yeah yeah that's what i was seeing that's horrifying yeah that's when you were you were talking about how because people see shadow people all over the place and you're like this place is like super old so i feel like it has a lot of different lores and people are like believe and are afraid of so there's a lot of different stories and those stories kind of are manifested by this scary dark thing. Yeah, just like the goat man. Goat man's not actually really there. It's yeah. just what they're going to show the us. the hellhounds. Yeah, so you saw Same hellhounds. The shadow people. I saw the goat man, but I also think it's funny because I want to go to that one, the, like the devil's house or something in England where he like rockets through the ceiling or something because he had <laughs> sex with the dude's daughter that was on vacation forever. No one knows who you're talking about. Don't go into it. Some people will though, <laughs> but I think it's funny. So I don't know why they're using that to scare me because if I was the devil, I'd only look like a dude with goat legs and I'd steal your daughter and play a really good game of poker and sh- only rock it through your ceilings. Got you. I would also try to take characteristics from, uh oh, what was his name? Something the mongoose. Mm-hmm. It's like Chester the mongoose. It's wrong. There's like a spiritual cryptid mongoose that may or may not have been the ventriloquism dream of a girl in a house by herself, devoid of other children's interactions. But when he would, what's his name? Anyways, when oh he would, God. when he would leave a room or a conversation from talking to people in the walls, he would just yeah. say vanish. And I think you that's keep saying funny. that. I know, but I love it. I'm just no telling one knows you. What you're talking about. It's a conglomeration of a lot of different things. God. So. We start the video, <laughs> and uh, they first started with a woman named Maddie, which I believe is like a maid of some sort, or worked on the premises. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I only watched that thing once, and I thought I was never going to talk about it again. But she has this room, and it's one of the more haunted locations, because she doesn't like when you move things around or like make things messy. So, in the video at this point, Sam and Colby are, like, trying to talk to her, and they have this weird device that has yes and no, and then they have all of the, like, emojis for their emotions that the spirit can, like, thumb through and juice and pick between. Nothing was happening until they moved the bench away from the wardrobe in the room. Yeah, and he opened it, too. Yes. So, I don't... I. Again, part two of this podcast is going to be us talking about the history of the place. Uh, but we don't, I don't know that right now. Em does because she watched the rest of the video, but I don't know. When you were talking about Maddie and Maddie's room, there's like this bed that has the little like curtain y stuff on it and things like that. They moved the, the bassinet too. Yeah, they moved it to a different room. Yeah, which was weird. And you were like, there's an old lady standing here and she does not like what they're doing. <laughs> Yeah, they were. She was not cool with them moving the bassinet, but I don't think that's Maddie. No, no, no. I feel no. like Maddie has like dark hair because before when they were talking about her, I was like, I see this scary rendition of her where her skin is gray and her hair is dark. She kind of looks like Violet but older. Mm-hmm. I saw a girl that was like twelve or thirteen, and I didn't think that she was a maid. I thought she was like the girl that lived in that and room. And who was talking to them? I saw a girl that was 13 or 14, and she had hair your color, so, like, 
But you said there was a woman talking to them. There was an older woman talking to them too. Like significantly older? No. The one that was the one that was controlling the yes or no's on that weird little device that they had was the 13 or 14 year old girl. Oh. Who I think was then, the person in that room who I thought was Maddie. <laughs> Cause I don't know, Ooh. I don't know if Maddie's a maid or something. But they I were like, know. "This is Maddie's room," and I'm like, "Okay, cool, Maddie. She's the girl that I'm seeing. That's 13 or 14. She's kind of angsty." They said something about her dying in the room, and she was like, "It was a drag, like a girl where you're like, you're not allowed to get out of your room because there's boy suitors, and you're not supposed to get married yet." And she's like, "I hate everything. I don't want to be in this room. It's hot outside. It sucks, and people are touching my things." Yeah, I started recording the video and you have like half answers for things. So I have no idea what you're actually seeing in any of the things that you're talking about. Because first you were talking about how someone died, which I presume was Maddie. Because you say, I don't know what's wrong, but I feel like she died in a way like I can't breathe. and My lungs feel sticky. Mm -hmm. Maddie died at supposedly in a fire. Okay. And then the other thing that you were talking about was they were using that weird box in there and they started getting things when they moved the bench away from the wardrobe. And you were telling me that the woman, you used the word woman, was the one communicating with them. So I didn't think that was Maddie. Oh, yeah. No, I also <laughs> use the term middle-aged for when I see someone in their 30s. And for I me, get, I know. middle-aged is like around 50s, late 40s to late 50s. That's middle-aged for me. So I don't know why that comes out of my mouth when I'm clearly seeing someone that's 38. And when you were talking about that woman, I was also seeing a woman with brown hair that mm. looked not in their 50s yeah no there was a woman there that had long brown hair who was older she was late 30s 40s she was more like a mom sort of feeling because yeah. there was a boy and a younger girl too but they weren't really in the room and she was the one that was talking about how sam and colby are like kids yeah because i remember talking she's about the one that. that tried to push sam out of the room and that's when he got touched yes because she yeah. was like, at time to get out of the I room now, children. What you just said, you made it seem like this 13-year-old girl was doing that. And I was like, I swear to God, you said woman? Oh, so yeah. I have no idea what's going on. The, the old then. woman touched Sam on the shoulder, whoever it was, to get them out of the room. But she's a very, like, calm presence. Well, yeah. And then the 13 or 14-year-old girl that was making the yes or no box go off when they moved the bench was the one that was like, you moved that bench and you opened the armoire that was behind the bench and now there's a dark thing in the house. And then yeah. it wasn't until they moved the thing back that the dark thing like got put back in the armoire, which was really weird. It was almost like it was on a dumb waiter or something and it started sinking down into the house. And then once they closed the door and put the bench back, it got sucked back up where it was. Because yeah. they were asking the girl, is the thing the shadow man's scary and she's like yeah it is <laughs> don't you touch that shit yeah because she the 13 or 14 year old girl that's angsty that told me she died with like sticky lungs and it was hot and has like an attitude is who i thought maddie was and then the tall woman well that would be maddie however she died when she was much older not 13 interesting then i don't know who i was talking to supposedly based on my remembrance of this video i watched a week ago <laughs> mm. well then maybe i wasn't talking to maddie i was talking to some other girl that was in the room but she was like don't touch my shit you let the weird dark thing out of the closet it's sticky and then there was an old woman that was more of like a mother or matronly feeling woman that was like okay it's time to go you kids are weird you play weird games yeah yeah okay season two here we come the kardashians are back on hulu we're back in case you missed us this September, we are starting to talk wedding dresses. Everything gets elevated. I do believe in love. When you love, you know you're alive. You have these feelings. No matter how crazy things are, we're always going to be family. Now hold your crown up. The Kardashians season two, now streaming only on Hulu.
Are you a young adult who is following Jesus, but like many, you're feeling a bit stuck? In these challenging times, you're trying to find out how to live your purpose for His mission, but you see much of our generation walking away left and right. We are 1,000 Young Leaders, and we can help you clarify how to live out your purpose and create the kinds of community where anyone can encounter Jesus. To learn more, go to 1KYL.org. That's 1KYL.org. 1KYL.org. I'm glad I could clarify the things that made no sense to you. I still have no idea what you're talking about because you still told me that there was a woman touching their device. <laughs> so it's still very confusing. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> Because when we were reacting to it, I was also seeing a woman and not a child mm. doing that. So very confused. I'm not entirely Maybe sure you're they explaining it well enough for me to no, understand. For sure. Not. <laughs> so not well there's it's happening. that. <laughs> nor now <laughs> oh so it is what it is but supposedly there's also a woman it might be the same one i don't remember but in the kitchen that likes to move things around in the kitchen but when i was watching the beginning portion of that there's a there's a little boy that people see on ghost tours oh in the kitchen no just everywhere oh They'll yeah. be like peeking behind corners and someone will be like, oh, do you see the boy right there? And no one will see it. And then they'll just hear thump, thumping. Because <laughs> he's straight skedaddling down the yeah, hallway. it's hilarious. That is so funny. Yeah. They also, there's also an old woman that was telling me that the house did not used to look like that. And that's in relation to like the stucco or plaster that's on the walls. Because the way she was showing me the house is all of the walls used to be stone underneath. And then when they panned out to show the outside of the house and it was stone, I was like, oh, God. So, yeah. But I kept seeing a little boy in the kitchen. He was, like, hiding underneath the tables and stuff. You know, like how little kids dart underneath things and they're like, aha, you can't see me because I'm small and I fit into weird places. Yeah, you said there was a boy and a girl. Yeah. Under the... The kitchen table. Kitchen table. Yeah. The girl has blonde hair, though. Or no. The girl that I was talking to in the bedroom has blonde hair or blondish hair like yours, kind of. And then the other girl, I don't know. I remember the boy more. But yeah. yeah Sorry. That is. That's confusing. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Still confused. I tell fine. people that they're middle-aged and they're not, so... And then people in the comments on our YouTube videos are like, I didn't know that 30 was middle-aged. And it's yeah. like, no, it's not. I'm just a dumbass. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it comes out of my mouth when I'm looking and listening to things that are not there. So the next one was the meeting room. And the meeting room was straight crazy. With uh, Mr. Prickins. Pr that is Pr Pritchard. Pr Pritchard. 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 Colonel Edward Pritchard. I looked that up because I wanted to make sure that we got his name right because you don't want to call him Mr. Pritchard because he was a colonel, which is important. Colonel so. Pritchard? They call him Mr. Pritchard, I think, in the video. Yeah, it's disrespectful. <laughs> At least in my he, eyes. I don't think he cares. Probably not, but... Because they just don't know any better, so... I care. He's like one of those souls that likes to teach people things. Mm-hmm. He's very chill. So he doesn't really necessarily care. Yeah. So this is not being outwardly disrespectful. It's funny. They know not what they say or what they don't say. <laughs> Their lack thereof. Anyways, but he was a colonel. So I looked that up because I thought it was Mr. Two, but he's not. Yeah, they walked into the meeting room and immediately I saw this man <laughs> sitting down on this weird bench thing. And I thought that I was just, that's just how my gifts work. And I just see people like in front of me. So I didn't think he was actually like, physically there in the video so i just start talking about this older man that had brown hair that's kind of slunched over that has this very solemn feeling which is the person i was talking about earlier and then they took out their emf reader which those emf readers are like so hard to get to work because the spirit has to literally have so much energy to almost manifest in front of it and it starts working mm -hmm. <laughs> and i was like Okay, let me tell you that there there's someone sitting there, but I didn't think that was real, so I didn't mention it. It's fine. Yeah, we have learned, or M at least has said, that for EMF readers to go off, it's usually when spirits have to almost physically manifest so that even, like, the normie could see them. Yeah, type it's thing. really hard for them to do that, especially get it all the way full to the red zone. Yeah. Which is what was happening. Well, 
very just on point happening. But it's weird because you walk into this room and there's kind of like a little area near the door that's elevated, kind of like a stage with a table and a drape or a large well, it looks ornate like an carpet altar. behind it. An it altar or a, a place in which they do business. Oh, well, it looked like it was on a stage with an, it was an altar because then there were like pews facing it. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like a meeting they, area, meeting like, room. talk about witchcraft, so that was just my interpretation, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Didn't know the history. I don't know either. Yeah. I just thought it was an altar. Ah. <laughs> so you kind of step down these stairs, and there's more of an open area, and there's windows on both sides of the room. But the side in which Sam and Colby are standing on, which is closest to the door, or the left-hand side of the room, if the door is facing behind you, and the stage is behind you as well, there was the man that Em was talking about and it was weird because I saw him almost as a residual haunting instead of an active one but it was interesting because it turned into active while they started doing the EMF stuff oh weird and because that wasn't my experience uh, no that's how my okay. experience was because when they when I first saw him I was like man this guy like is very sad he's gone through some hardship mm -hmm. and I see this man that looks almost like a priest or a minister or something like that you know the black and white collar and stuff like that he has like a hat on almost that's so like that was a different guy yes okay he had white hair and was wearing like a priest outfit mm -hmm. and he had a hat on that was almost like a bowler hat but not really kind of like a Quaker but smaller and rounder anyways like that dude on the oatmeal container but <laughs> he was talking to this man almost like in a residual haunting, like a playback of energy. And it was like he was at his wit's end, this man that M saw sitting down with his hands in his, his head in his hands. And he was just ready to do whatever he possibly could to get things to go back to normal. And then as Sam and Colby kept talking, I picked up on this dark entity on the other side of the room. And I feel like that's the shadow man or the shadow things that people see when they're there. And the room's energy was not okay. How would you describe it before the EMF reader started going off and they were talking to Mr. Pritchard? Thick. Thick. Yeah, they had she uh, thick. They had those twist uh, flashlights on the other side. So the dark thing was trying to like turn them on and off to get their attention away from Miss, Mr. Pritchard. Mm -hmm. So this residual haunting that I saw, but M saw it as an active haunting the whole time, yeah. <laughs> to me, turned into an active thing while Sam and Colby started asking Mr. Pritchard questions. And it was crazy because, like M said, they had one flashlight near Mr. Pritchard and another one on the opposite side of the room where this dark entity was hovering. And you could tell how hard the dark entity was trying to get their attention but Mr. Pritchard was like, I am going to drain this room of all of the energy possible so that when they went upstairs into the witch's attic and towards the rest of their home, because in the beginning of the video, they were like asking the other spirits that they could about if the dark thing in the house is actually scary, if it's actually as scary as it should be, if they should actually be worried. And every soul or every spirit in the house said, yes, you need to be worried about this dark thing. And Em and I see and can tell that the dark thing is just a manifestation of everyone's fears of things. Um, but that's been conglomerated into a lot of time, so it gets more energy. And it was just interesting to watch Mr. Pritchard literally drain the room of energy using the EMF reader. Yeah, so that the dark thing couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. For the rest of their tour. Yeah, but they started asking Mr. Pritchard about the attic, and that's when I started seeing this woman with long dark hair that was really upset about things in the attic, because there's like a bed up there and things like that, and that's when you were like, was she sad about a baby? And I was like, well, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. I don't think we ever got the answer about the baby upstairs either when we were watching the video. Yeah, the attic was a lot of mystery because it was closed off. They like found the room and like reopened it so people are like did you reopen like the dark thing that was like hidden away type thing you know mm. but they like found this extra room and opened it up so that they found this extra room and that's the room that has all of the weird witch mark protection symbols the entire house has protection symbols but these ones have like the burn marks in all of the like wood stuff up in the attic the support beams 
But yeah, well, when they were talking about the attic, that's when I was hearing this like, scraping noise, but it makes sense that they were making witches marks all over the place that I would hear a scraping noise. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. It's, it was weird. Because when once they finally went up to the attic, they were in there for a while. They were playing um, seven, seven minutes, minutes in, in hell, hell. <laughs> where they were up there alone. <laughs> and while they were up there, I was like, there's someone sitting on the bed, but they're like translucent. And I like don't know what that means because they're not talking to me. They're literally just like mumbling things, looking down at the floor. And it's the same woman that has the dark hair. Yeah, and I didn't see the woman with the dark hair until later because I wasn't focusing on her because there was a man up there. <gasps> Sam and Colby's, um, are they his, their girlfriends? Yeah, I think those are, they're in relationships with each other. Okay, so they sent their uh, significant others upstairs for seven minutes and they were doing EMF, no, not EMF. They, I think they had an EMF reader, but they were doing the voice box stuff to like get what people were saying and asking questions. And... I saw a man on on the bed and he was talking about the pentagram or whatever that's carved into the wall on the outskirts of the property as well as like who he was and I feel like he was just some traveler man and he was trolling them so hard so hard it's ridiculous and then M brought my attention to the witch woman that was on the bed just in a trance yeah you were saying that she was reciting spells to keep the place protected and that was a fragment of her existence to make sure that the room continued to stay protected yeah because you were saying the dark things were like reserved to the ceiling of the place yeah oh i forgot about that because when they went up there you can see through the ceilings and into where the roof is and there's this swirling dark sort of cloud that's up against the roof and it's almost like it can't get out from behind the boards in the roof but you can see it swirling kind of like it's behind glass yeah because when it was happening i was seeing it on the floor like when she Mm. was have that horrible solemn feeling Mm -hmm. was crying over something it was a dark cloud on the floor you're welcome it's scary that do you think that she might have been a part of whatever occulty things or whatever religious stuff that was going on there and she found out that there was bad things going on and it might have taken her child no i don't know because i still see a woman dressed in black and she's like crying upstairs i know it scared me when i said it (laughs) but it's like the only thing that's want you to talk about it oh i can do that oh i mean you can talk about it i don't care if i'm just telling you what's happening oh no i know (laughs) it's scary i'm just trying to figure out why we saw that because it's a lot but we can ignore it yeah no i feel like you might have a piece of it yeah But I feel like to make those things not happen again, she's the one that was like, I'm stopping it. So she did whatever that fingerprint impression is of her. Jelly Bean is upstairs barking at things if you hear a dog bark. That is the song of the Beano. What do you call her? Eby? She's Eby when she's tired. Mm -hmm. Like sleepy. Mm -hmm. Eby. Got it. You're welcome. Yeah, when you were talking about what you were talking about, she... I normally see her in this like weird trance where she's doing whatever she wants to do and mumbling in circles. But when you were talking about things, she like looked at me and screamed. Yeah. So I saw the same thing. Great. <laughs> yeah. We'll stop and talking I was like, about oh, it. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't know you were actually here because can you talk to her soul? Yeah. That's how she told me she was an imprint because okay, I great. saw her in heaven and I was like, I don't like that people can split their souls because it kind of goes back into like the imprint of um, Margaret uh-huh. or what's the doll's name? Margaret the doll? Peggy? Peggy. Yeah, because Peggy is not a real name. It's kind of like the imprint idea from our uh, Margaret the doll podcast and video of like there is a spiritual imprint of the soul on it. However, it is not the soul itself because that splitting thing is not like it's weird and they're like because it is weird that's why it feels like it doesn't make sense because it doesn't so i feel like she left an energetic imprint in that addict in order to keep the majority of the scary things that were present when she was alive and that were affecting people then to a minimum to a low roar quiet coyote it in a witchy way yeah i feel like there's a lot of like people that did weird things to the house that didn't live there because they were scared of the house i don't know i get this like gross sick feeling and then 
I feel like people like came in like mobs or something and did weird things to the house. Well, th- that kind of goes to like the pentagram that's on the outside wall. Yeah. So Mr. Pritchard and the traveling man, the like vagabond that's upstairs that was goading the girls into being a, a dick. Um, he's like, yeah, there was a lot of people that because he told me that the pentagram on the outside of the wall is what piqued his interest. He kind of was a, a sassy guy. And uh, he was walking by, you know, as vagabonds do, and saw the pentagram on the outside of the wall. And he was like, ah, mm-hmm. there's mischief to be had. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, if someone's drawing this on these people's walls, I got to check out what's going on. So Mr. Pritchard being the OG he was, was like, okay, you can stay here for a little bit, but you're going to do some work. And that's what's going to, that's how it's going to be. And uh, when the girls in the EVP session upstairs in seven minutes of hell were uh, asking the vagabond questions, Mr. Pritchard ended up coming up the stairs and was like, that's it. Because the vagabond was goading the girls into becoming more scared about the swirling dark scariness that this imprint of a witchy woman or whatever was on the bed. And it was giving the energy that Mr. Pritchard had just so graciously taken during the super cool uh, EVF, 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 EMF, EMF reading. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was and like, this, what are you saying? <laughs> EMF, in the super freaking cool EMF reading, this vagabond soul guy was getting these girls more scared and that was going to make the dark stuff have energy again. And he came up the well, stairs. Well, that's when Sam and Colby were up there and they were talking. He came up the stairs and was like, that's it, vagabond man. You need to shut your mouth because this is, that's, you're literally defeating the purpose of my coolness downstairs 20 minutes ago, half hour ago. And uh, yeah, that's like the pentagram is what brought the vagabond man there to be in the, in the attic. But Mr. Pritchard or Colonel Pritchard is telling me that uh, a lot of people didn't like him because of the decisions he made. He was somebody that wanted to do things that were good for the people. However, I don't know what the climate in Wales was, the political climate of Wales in whatever time frame that he was alive was like. But I feel like he kind of batted for the opposite of the whoever was in power in that time. And the people that followed the other person were upset about it. They're like, you can't go and disobey the person that's in charge so they might have done a lot of witchy kind of things to him got you because they didn't like what he stood for and how he ran things right hence the pentagram on the wall this woman is telling me that um the witch woman yeah because you were talking about before because she reminded me that uh you thought that there was a a baby that she brought up there that had passed, but she was just so overwhelmed that she didn't want them to bury the baby. Mm-hmm. And they make me feel like, you know what, like what happens to you after you're, you're pregnant, like post-traumatic stress disorder? Oh, postpartum depression? Yeah, that. They tell me that things like that started happening to her where she thought the baby was still like alive because I can hear it crying but they're not there mm. so she thought that someone was doing something to her baby so she was up there sealed herself in there and started doing the weird witch mark things interesting yeah that's weird yeah I don't know it was a lot so I figure that's not me <laughs> yeah no that is a lot just in general so yeah, that's that's the story about that. <laughs> Membership fees apply after free trial. Cancel any time. Can I be real for a second? That goal you have to exercise and eat better, you really can do it. But nobody is going to do it for you. And nobody has to because you can do it if you have the right tools and a community that cares about helping you get results. And that's us, Beachbody. It's as convenient as your TV or laptop, but you need to decide that you're worth it. Let us help you succeed. Here's how. Go to Beachbody.com to claim your free membership and start feeling great. Come here. Natural Balance presents a head-tilting, tail-wagging audio experience made for dogs. Want to play? (laughs) Good dog. This ad was scientifically designed to make your dog happy. 
just like Natural Balance dog food. Visit naturalbalanceinc.com to learn more. You got anything else about uh, our reaction video to Sam and Colby's The Terrifying Night at Shadowman Manor? I'm going to say it like that the whole time. What do you think about the shadow people? Oh, I definitely just think it's people... Oh, that's funny. What? <laughs> well, you know how I just said... Again, I don't know the history yet. That's what's going to be in part two of this podcast. Is um, I don't know the history, but I said that Colonel Pritchard had a lot of people that didn't like what he did and what he stood for and the way he did things because it was against kind of like the majority thought. Mm -hmm. I feel like those shadow people that people see are the haunting sort of amalgamation or manifestation of the people that didn't like him weird yeah you know how you said like people used to come there in droves or something like that yeah yeah it's like that <laughs> that's odd <laughs> yeah it's the people i didn't like him which is why he's not scared of them still why does he have so much energy like why was he doing that he that's had not like a normal thing for spirits to do <laughs> why was he doing what the emf reader type thing because he understands that the Sam and Colby and their SOs went out there because they wanted to talk to the scary thing. And he's like, you think you want something, but you don't know what you want because you don't understand the cost it has in doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. The same thing of like who he was when he was alive. I feel like he did things for people because people didn't know the actual ordeal of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I guess. Like, a kid wants to run away from home because they're like, I don't like authority and I don't like the things that you're doing, so I'm going to go out and do it by myself because I can do what I want because it's good for me. And he's like, I'm going to lock your windows and push you in the house because you don't know that if you go outside and do those things, you're going to get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. It's like It's just that weird because other souls don't do that. Because there are other, like, souls that try to protect people from dark things but he overdoes it really yeah so, that's interesting i relate to it though <laughs> jesus because <laughs> if i was a man i'd have a soft beard and i'd tell you that on an irregular daily basis i don't think he has a soft beard because i would describe beards as rough a few of the right beard disgusting. oil <laughs> Probably not 500 years ago. My dude. Well, you put some uh, some fat in it or something. That's I don't disgusting. know. Disgusting. Some That's even lard. worse. You don't tell me what to do. Well, remember when we went to the pirate museum and they said that Blackbeard used to put sparklers in his beard to make himself look scary? Do the same thing. <laughs> but maybe for a less scary effect. We need to record a podcast about Salem too. That's going to be probably in October. And I'm promising things to you with an empty hand because I don't know if I can edit that many videos. We'll see. But I forgot about that one. So if you guys want to watch <laughs> our video where we react to Sam and Colby's video, you should uh, go ahead to our YouTube. There is a link in the description below. There will also be a link Show notes. to watch Sam and Colby's video because we appreciate them for making content that we can react to. <laughs> and... Uh, We'll see you in the next podcast. But we're also going to talk about our patrons because if you didn't know, we have a Patreon and it's a really fun thing. You should uh, go check it out, which is also in the show notes. We do readings. We're booked out for a while, but if you want to do a reading- no, Liv, in is, Liv is booked out. The future. I have readings available. <laughs> you want a tarot reading? You want to talk to M? M, say hi. Beep. There we go. I really was hoping that you were going to do the beep bop again because <laughs> I was like, we got to keep it consistent. But we ask you guys, if you like our podcast, to uh, let us know in Apple Podcast Reviews. Because I don't think Spotify lets you do the reviewy doodle thingy. But No, I think it does. Spotify well, not does? Spotify. Google does. Oh, Google Pop. Google Play. Wow. I saw a, 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 I, I sent it to you. Yeah. About the Sharpay. Uh-huh. We put it in one of our lives. They were really excited about it. Yeah. They were there. But if you like to listen and you like our podcast, leave us an Apple podcast review because it really helps us. And also leave us a dad joke or whatever funny thing that you think was funny in this podcast because we're going to let you know that we also thought it was funny. So according to LCN Canton, thank you for leaving your terrible dad joke, which is what you headed our five star review on Apple podcast. It says, is butt cheeks one word or should I spread them apart? Oh, wait, I bet there's a colon in the middle. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs>
oh. you have to explain it to me. Well, butt cheeks, you yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have mm-hmm. two of them. Two, so, two words? Two butt cheeks. Two butt cheeks. Yes. They're split in the middle. You know, like when a door hits you and someone doesn't like you and they're like, get out of here. Your butt cheeks are split in the middle? Yeah, but it actually goes uh, horizontally, not vertically. Fun fact. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So, but most butt cheeks are split vertically. Uh-huh, I mean, uh-huh, unless uh-huh. you only walk sideways, like on the walls, like a spider. Oh, you think spiders just like see people's butt cheeks in the showers, but they're like sideways? You and think like spiders Whoa. have butt cheeks? I assume they have some sort of thing that's similar to a cloaca where one hole just works for everything. But they have like web. Where does that come out of? You used to live talk to a spider when we were in Salem. You're welcome. Did I? Yeah, you told me they have to think a lot like a Virgo. Oh, yeah, when well, we were getting pizza because <laughs> the guys that came with us on our ghost hunting team or whatever was like, wait, no. Yeah. No, we were out to dinner and there was like 5,000 spiders hanging above this like can of... What? We were on a patio. Yeah. Like a it bar was patio. Well, the two men in our group were terrified of the spiders. No, just Anthony. Oh, just Anthony? Yeah. I thought... I Russell thought, no was like I'll sit over by the spiders if you're scared. You know. uh, <laughs> Anyways, so the butt cheeks, you have, there's two of them. So when you leave a door, someone's like, "Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you." And then I think, <gasps> what? You've never heard that? No. Wow, you've never had someone been really mad at you. When I leave today, you need to tell me that when I leave. Don't let the door hit you well, where the good Lord split you. My uh, three year old niece. <laughs> When her butt crack is showing, my sister says, Your butt's cracking. You're welcome. And then she pulls her pants up. You should ask her if she has a colon in between those two cheeks. <laughs> nope. What do you mean? It's inappropriate. It's an anatomy lesson. It's not inappropriate. We're squinting at each other. Okay. So, thank you, LCN Canton, for your terrible dad joke. It was terrible. I uh, really like the word butt cheeks being spelled out. It looks a lot better than when you say it, and it makes me happy. We want to say thank you to all of our patrons, our lovely Patreones. Are you going to list them in a... Uh, right you really now? want me to? Can you pull it up on your phone so well, I can see it? We could make it a goal to stop doing it, or we can just decide to stop doing it. I don't know. There's 398 of you. No, there's not. 298 of you. Well, I'm manifesting. There's 300. <laughs> Maybe 299. Wow. But it's going to take me a second. I'm really excited. But if you are interested in the Patreon. Ooh. If you're interested in joining Patreon, it's a good thing. The lowest tier, which is the most affordable, gives you access to the Discord server. So if you want to talk to hundreds, 301 exactly, other people that uh, like to talk about spoopy, paranormal, spiritual, and metaphysical things just like you, join the Discord server. If you don't like it, you can stop it. But if you love it, it's awesome. You get to talk to us because we're on the Discord server and it's a good time. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where it is. No! The uh, It looks different on my phone. It has to happen on your your computer. On my computer? Yeah, you have to go to the Patreons tab because there isn't one. Let's find the elevator music. John Cena! Do, 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 do! Okay, I've I've found your names. Emily is being a cricket because she doesn't have to say any of them. So, I apologize if I say any of your names wrong, but gosh darn it, I'm going to say all your names. So, <laughs> I appreciate all of our patrons, and it makes me really happy that our last Patreon Live and our mediumship circle that we did, so many people showed up. It makes me happy. We're making new friends. Anyways, Sheba, Callaway, Elise, Stephanie, Jay, Kiana, Tiger Lily, aka Maria, Chloe, Kaylee, Camilla, Melissa, Kiosha, Vanessa, Natalie, I think it's Natalia, Natalia, Juan, Gracie, Michelle, Mia, Joshua, Miranda, Veronica, Abigail, Parker, Brenda, Jennifer, Brian, Laura, Lauren, Little Universe. Oh, let's make sure that I'm saying all of the people that are here. Yes, I am. Okay. She lost her spot. I did. Little Universe, Wendy, Wyatt, Esther. Oh, Esther. I really like your name. Brianna, Salvador, Hannah, Alexis, Dalton, Rhea, Natasha, Tiana, Lizzie, Izzy. Ooh. Calla, Kat, Sydney, Ariana, Kate, Ashley, Anna, Paisley, Paula. Guys, we have seven pages of you. That's really awesome. Sharon, Melissa, Hannah. 
I like Raggle Maggie. That one's really cute. Diana, Catherine, Tuesday, Tessa, Sarah, Chloe, Cole, 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 Mama Llama, oh, Shama Llama, Ding Dong, Danielle, Susie, Azia, Azia, I think it's Azia. I like your name. Lisa, Charlotte, Caleb, Logan, Megan, Allie, Leslie, Danielle, Jason, Practical, Sapphic. That's interesting. You spelled your names with triangles. I appreciate it. Samantha, Jay, Mackenzie, Angelina, Emily, Justin, Z, Kathy, Ashley, Veronica, Aubriana. I like that one. Aubriana, Surly, Joseph, Haven. I think it's I as a duck one. I appreciate that. Eureka or Erica, but it looks like Eureka. Oh, Eureka Havoc. I like that. Wreck, Baby Chim Chim. That's an interesting one. I like Baby Chim Chim. Gibby, she's making a TikTok of me or some sort of post right now, and it makes me uncomfortable well, while I say this. <sighs> TMQ927, Danielle, Lexi, Petra, Liam, J, Evie. I like your name, Evie. You could have a really cool evolution. Do you want to be a Volt? Vol- Trion, is that what it was? I liked Vaporeon. Vaporeon was my favorite evolution of Eevee, but other people liked different ones. Pamela, Elizabeth, Lucas, Caitlin, Taryn, Claire, Jasmine, Emily, Lolo, Cora, Keely, Lacey, Awkward, Isa. I like that one. Jintar, 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 Ashley, Lanita, Kara, Sandrin, Presley, Emmy, Kira, Jennifer, Amanda, Paige, Veronica, Maggie, Rena, Samantha, Clarissa, Laura, Cherish, Charlie, Ashley, Brittany, Miss Alice, Forgetting Oblivion, Nelson, Sarah, Ashley, Sarah, Jade, Angie, Julie, Colleen, Synth, Sherry, Hannah, Ryan, Amy, Isabel. She is a student. It's what it says. Isabel, get good grades. Tasha, Fanny, JCLO, Kesley, Shelby, Grisha, Jay, Danielle, Jasmine, Julie, Brittany, Paige, Marin, Marin, I believe it's Marin, Christina, Christopher, Sarah, Jasmine, Connor, Alicia, Vanna, Amber, Catley, Joy Lynn, Paige, Brooklyn, Courtney, Kiu, I think it's Q. Caillou. Kai? Caillou. Ah, Caillou. Makes sense. Rita, Alana, Aki, Karina, Surya, Sergio, Katya, Asteria, Stephanie, Gaymeyer, Brooke, Lee Tao, M, Kayla, Ashley, Catherine, Dallas, Sarah, Alisa, Gannon, Veronica, Cynthia, Chris von Kleist. Still love your name. It's really fun to say. Emily, Meredith, Jim, Lindsay, Beth, Ashley, Annalie, Tara, Rosie, Brandy, Skullstorm, Adaharada, Tierra, Hazel, Marcy, Mia, Isabel, Rosara, Megan, Faith, Jessica, Yassi, Glow, Francesca, Ambia, Brooke, Ellie, Mia, Flavende, Leanne, Ocorona, Liliana, Anya, Abby, Kayla, Sarah, April, April, Ashley, Casey, Joanne, Keisha, Helen, Natalie, Alec, Sarah, Amanda, Stephanie, Tuna, Izzy, Catherine, oh, page six, Super Aru, Alexa, Caitlin, Shareholder, Sophia, Bria, Katie, Leanne, Bees, Brittany, Kendall, Shandy, Riley, Nakia, Korean. Oh, Okatsuama. I think that's your name. O- Otakusama. Otakusama. I really hope I said that. Thank you for your patience. Miana, Lillian, Jay, Lucretia, Brianna, Kristen, Kima, Samantha, Vicky, Erica, Ian, Vanessa, McKenna, Cindy, Kylie, Mev, Trinity, Cass, Anthony, Violet, Peyton, Mac, Jenny, Laurel, Bradley, Uratel, Sandy, Nas, Sherry, Sushi, Anita, Katie, Charles, Holly, Krista, Ibby. One person, Malake, who will never hear this because he is a solid patron a friend, an OG. He's a highly starched towel. And I'm really hoping that this was recording and it was. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun if I said that all I get of those? To listen to that again. <laughs> no, that I would have to say it again. No, that I get to listen to it again. Oh, gosh. Thank you to all of our patrons. You're all towels. Welcome to the Bed Bath and the Beyond. And we'll see you in part two. Got anything else to say? I'm a lie. You're a towel. Oh, you're meta. Wow. You really got to touch the buttons, don't you? I don't know.
It was funny, though. <laughs> Your favorite band's about to play a sold-out show, and you definitely got tickets. And drinks. Now hurry and make it back to your spot. Pass this person and that person about 20 more. Ooh, watch out for feet. Hey. Just keep going. A little further. Oh, there's your friend. Over here. Right where you want to be. Close enough to see the set list. And they're definitely playing your song. When you're with Amex, it's not if it's going to happen, but when. American Express. Don't live life without it. When you shop at a Walmart Vision Center, you get it. You know that you'll spend a little less on stylish glasses for the whole family. Welcome to the Vision Center. Let me know if you need help finding the perfect frame. Hey, Mom, you were right. These glasses are cool. Hun, they take our insurance. That means Papa's getting a new pair, too. Whoa, glasses start at just $39. Next stop, groceries. So you can get a little more of what you need. Find a Vision Center near you. Save money, live better. Walmart.